And worst news, crypto lender cred files for bankruptcy. What the heck is going on? Well, crypto lender cred has filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in Delaware on Sabado and Saturday in October. The lender published a cryptic letter saying that it has experienced irregularities in the handling of specific corporate funds by a perpetrator of fraudulent activity. Now, I don't know what that means in English. I have no idea. But it sounds to me like someone screwed up and someone ran away with the dish and the spoon and all the money. So again, different projects on this channel. I know this channel is just the news. And some say, hey, you really got to get into other projects and really talk about these, you know, these things that are outliers to make people a bunch of money. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I'm not. Because I don't understand why people are like, let's get rich today. Like it, it doesn't work like that. It never works like that. It it takes effort and time and and when you have these projects, you have to really do a lot of, of deep diving into it. Look at the background, look at the people behind it, look at the, the infrastructure. And and I and I gotta tell you, like uh there's a reason why I only talk about certain things in this channel because I don't trust anything else. I just don't. So uh, this is a prime example. And if you've lost money, I, I've, I've read the comments in the comment section. It's pretty bad. I'm really sorry for everybody that did. But this is what it is. So in March, several crypto lenders struggled to weather the uh, Bitcoin crash, with some making margin calls of 100 million or more. If you don't remember, this is in March when COVID-19 really came about. And it was like the the worst day for crypto. I mean, I think Bitcoin went below 4,000. I think it was like around 34, 38, somewhere around there. And uh, all these different lending companies were like calling it in, like, hey, it dropped so much, your collateral isn't worth squat. So you either got to, we're either going to liquidate you right now or you got to put more money in. And a lot of them got liquidated. Celsius, just as a, as a note, and you can check with Alex Bashinsky over on his Twitter account, even on, on the website, they liquidated a grand total of, I think it was between like three and four people total. Out of all the different loans that they made, and people actually either either paid up, or they made provisions or whatever they did, but uh, yeah, they gave people the options and it worked out. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I am with Celsius because when you have hardship, when you see like uh, the worst crucible to really come down and they weather the storm, that's what a test of a company is, and that's why I put faith in in only certain people and institutions. And lastly, it just says Cred CEO. His name's Dan Shat. No kidding. No way. That's not made up. It's funny. Did not immediately respond to requests for comment. I mean, I highlighted this before the video, but I didn't see his name. Dan Shad. Who's going to trust that name? Anyhow, allegedly. Allegedly. No, really, it's not allegedly. He's in Chapter 11. All right, so let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on. Dan Shad.